I think I might go and keep these stairs. They don't look too bad. I was thinking of making them, like, using some of the new blocks, the more elaborate looking ones. So I may still do that. I may change them out for, like, andesite or granite or something and doing those stairs instead. So those are always options to do. And then I made this 11. So one, two, three, four, five. This is where the tree should be, except for it's not on my hotbar. One, two, three, four, five. It needs to be one, two, three minimum. Kitty, where are you? You're in a safe place. Really? And it's a two. It's like, but you made me one higher, so therefore I don't need to be. It's like, no, you really do need to be. And on this side. Are we all clear? Okay. It does its thing. And I just realized that this is only too wide, which I'm also not a fan of, but it is odd. So that's good. I think this is gonna be all small plants. Let's make it a tulip garden. Two. I have 42 of them on me? Wow. Nope, can't go there. Can go there, and then there. And the white one can go there. Pink, pink. This is where it really matters. Can I put... Nope. My pattern's messed up. You're like, what pattern? The pattern is no two tulips of the same color can touch. So I did okay down here. So every, like there has to be one in between. There's one, then there's white. So there should be a white one here. That's where I messed up. White one is there. And then... There. Red. And the idea is it's not supposed to be the same pattern. Like I can't always have red and white, red and white together. There sometimes has to be other colors beside it. But it looks like I'm going to have to do orange and pink and red and white just to get them all to fit properly. It's not very random this way, but not a lot I can do there. I mean, you guys will know that it's not random, but maybe other people won't notice that it's not random. They'll think it is because it's supposed to be, but it's not. All right, tulip garden. Done. These ones. Um, and remove the food. And we need oxide daisies. This would be easier if I had my tree to work with. So I want a tree here. And I would really like a tree there. And another one here. But I don't think they're going to cooperate with each other. Like I just think they're going to be 
stupid trees. All right, kitty, stay away from the trees. Thank you. And then move that, take that. Let's see what we get. <sighs> Crappy tree. Are we going to get three in a row? Because I will be really not happy. Okay. In actuality, we got a good tree. But we didn't get it the right way. So we have a problem. Because I don't know where one tree ends and the other tree begins. I don't actually know. Um... Yeah. So this was a tall tree. That was terrible. I'm very much looking forward to not gardening tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to take our pack and we're going to head out. We're going to be in search of our villagers that we are going to be kidnapping and bringing back. And we're going to be taking notes about where each of their areas are so that I can do up some blueprints to be able to bring back and build. And this is where we have a few housing issues or a few issues with housing issues. Really? I have no idea where that came from. Um, take that out and put the axe in. Take that out. And this. The thing is, I think the, the center point is the same height. Now, our issue is, where does this tree go? What part of it is not part of the other tree? We're going to go with that for now. Right, kitty? So we got one. Ah, ah, ah. And 13 more saplings to work with. Get rid of those. Take those. Please, 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 please. Ah! <gasps> That's the tree I have wanted from the beginning. Ugh. Now the question is, what is this tree going to do in response? It's actually going to make a nice tree. Yay! We got our trees. I'm not sure I like them, but we got them. I, I got what I asked for. It may not actually be what I want or need but I got it that's the tree I wanted um, right there and right there actually I'm thinking now it looks terrible <laughs> I think these ones don't suit it now because that one is so big. If they were, um, oh, I can't take that one out. That doesn't belong to this tree. Yeah. this whole bottom half, which I should not be using an axe on. Okay, so that has separated those. 
This one is not so easy to do. Because we know that there is a branch there. Okay, we're going to take this whole bottom layer off here. All right, and... Okay. That can't be there because that just looks funny now. And I think I will take the shears, which I am not carrying. And hello, shears. Shears. I have some more wood. With the shears, I'm going to take off this one, this one, and this one. Because I need to fill in that hole there. Okay. Is there any more dressing that we need to put on this? I think... That I might be okay. I keep falling down. All right. Based on that, that goes, that goes, this stays, this stays. Um, I have a centerpiece in here. So that takes care of that. I decided I don't want that one or that one. I don't think so right here. Sorry, kitty. I'll try to plant you. Um, you guys go down here because you were the smallest. You go here. I do reserve the right to change any and all of this at any given time. So you may come back on again, and it's a completely different garden. <laughs> Which would be very me. It's something I would do. It's just change it completely up. Okay, I want these two back. All right, so we got this garden, although I'm not sure what's going in that hole. Um, I'm going to put dirt in it for right now, but I'm thinking a spruce tree would be good here. Not a spruce, a um, one of those ones would be good. I don't have a lot of them. I think I only have one. There it is. One sapling left. Yes, yes, the little one. I know you want to stand on there, so go ahead. What I do need is of this to finish our pop.
It's supposed to be stairs, but we're going with this for now. It will do. I'm wondering if I should have one more, but I don't want it to touch this, so we've got our tree line path. We have our random trees. We've got our gardens, another random tree. And then this one. And we're gonna hope that the trick works again because it needs to clear the roof. And it needs to not merge with this tree. So that's gonna be a bit of a test. It did it. It cleared the roof and didn't merge with the tree. Yay! And it gives us a nice um, white background here. Yeah. Okay. This area here is going to be the new kennels. Um, I haven't decided. I thought it maybe I could do a U-shaped pattern as well. That could work. This here are the corner blocks of if I flip this and just move this whole thing as is over here, that's how much space it's going to take. That's how big it is. There's our farmer. So since we have space down here as well, I thought I should be getting, like, I should move this over more and take advantage of the fact that we have space over here and do something there. Or I could just throw another garden in there with a whole bunch of trees. But you never know. Yeah, I got very lucky on this one. I had miserable luck with that garden and getting the trees to work, but now I have a half-decent one that's a little lopsided, but I can live with that. These are also a little lopsided. Um... These trees, I think, are taller than these trees. But that is just a little bit of grooming later on that I can do. This tree is fine. This tree was going to be a tree with a garden, but I'm kind of liking it just the way it is. We don't have plants to put here. I haven't found one that I actually like. Um, I do want to grow... Hmm. I don't know which way the sunflower is going to face. Ah! You can go here. Uh, you're going to block that. I can't put you there. I'll put you there. Machines, I can put you there. And if you're going to do that, then let's give you a couple of orange tulips to work with. There. There works and this house is kind of pink so let's give it a few things all right house of pink we are going to give you pink and this one actually it's one of these one of those sorry kitty a couple of those how come the other one worked out differently Oh, it had bigger, bigger stairs. Okay, that's good. Um, this one I can't do anything with, and I don't want to. I kind of like it the way it is. This one actually has a garden that needs to actually have in here. So that's what needs to happen. On there. Uh, I'm going to start using a lot of these new ones. Except for that looks terrible. <laughs> My banner is in the way. We're going to have to move the banners. Let us move the banner. One. And two. Move that up. Move that up. And I was going to use the blue one, but I thought the blue one looked terrible. Can we make this face a different direction if we put it on a different way? Oh, 
the answer is no. All right. They both point that way. Oh, well. Who do we have here? We have you. Um, that is on the third one up. We haven't used the lilacs. So let's give you a lilac. Or not give you a lilac. Why can't... Oh, because that's only the second one up. All right. Lilac there. Lilac there. Um... I guess we could go with this. Because we could put one there and one here. It's weird, but it, it works. <laughs> We're going to go with it. Uh, you've got a whole garden here. What do you have going for you? You are beigey colored. I'm going, just going to give you some orange tulips and call you done. There we go. Okay, so that was my half hour warning to tell me that we should be getting ready. This is the armorer's house. Hmm. I don't know if an armorer should have like something like I don't see them. They're essentially they're the blacksmiths. I don't know if they should have something like that. Like, do blacksmiths have gardens out front? So we're going to go with no. That's got stuff. That's got stuff. This house way over here. This is our next one. Going to work our way over to the other side. All right. Small house four. We haven't used roses. What do you think, little one? I was actually thinking of putting maybe rose bushes in between here. And then I'm thinking, that looks terrible. Because it's like catching inside in between. Yuck. Yuck. All right, let's put that one there. That one there. Then what do we have for red? We have a few red because we have tulips. That's not a tulip. But we're still going with that. There. So the height goes from tall to shorter to shortest. As a matter of fact, why don't we make this our little rose cottage? Uh, but not all the way around because we need the torch. Do we? It's centered, so that works. Yay for symmetrical. All right. Now we have a rose cottage. Aww. You're in the fishing hut. You don't get anything. Um, you already have a nice little banner out front because you are for sheep. I have to breed a sheep or bring one home or something and get that going. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know why there. Let's go with the oxide daisies. Just a couple of them I guess on either side. Just just something a little. Nothing too festive-ish. Um, you have everything you need in here. You're, you're a happy fish. I gotta get you more fish though. You need more fish friends. Over here we have small house three. And medium house, which is actually larger than our large house, which is a little weird, but bleh. okay. So this one needs some tall stuff. Um, I'm gonna give it because we can't go in this spot because it can't be. See, that used to be a lot prettier. I don't like it as much anymore. And I don't want to move the signs. Although technically the sign should be up there. And since we went with pink, let's go with white. Maybe it should be white within pink. Put another pink in here. 
uh, pink. Pinky be pink. There we go. Hmm. I'm not liking the tall ones now because I think the little ones look better. Um, kitty. Thank you. That's better. Not great, but better. And as I said before, I reserve the right to change my mind at any given time spontaneously simply because I feel like it. My world, I can do what I want. All right, where are we going from here? We're going up here to the... I think this is the medium house? Oh, this is the big house. See, this is not really... I mean, I guess that's a medium. And this is a big... But it's only because it's taller. I don't know the last time we slept. All right, let's see how this actually looks here. And I'm not a fan of these ones, actually. These are not a flower I like. I'm thinking now maybe I should put a flower box in here. It's not part of the build, but it might look better. And then, <laughs> and then put the flowers on it. Um, and some of the orchids. I can't put an orchid on here because of that sign. All right. Be that way. Can't stop me from putting it here. Kitty. Kitty. Do you have... Sorry. But I kind of needed the orchid. Uh, let me heal you with the fish I am not carrying. Uh, how did that happen? Let's go get the fish. Well, let me put the plants down. Then we'll go heal you with the fish. Uh, that one. Nope. That one. Come on. Let's go make you better. Silly critter. Fish? No. Fish? No. Fish? No. Am I missing it? It's got to be in my inventory here somewhere. Where else would I put the fish? Here a fish, there a fish, everywhere a fish, fish. There it is. Come here, get your head out of there. There you go. Now you're happy and you're healed. All right, so we did this one. We're gonna need some of those. I don't think I have any with me. One, two, three, four, five. So that will make ten. Let's go sleep. We still don't have a crop for here. Hmm. We need ten. Do I have a crafting table? No, of course I don't have a crafting table because why would I have a crafting table when I can build yet another one? Because 400 of them is just not enough. You know, you need more than that. Well, let's go put these on. Wow. 
Aha! Wrong way. Hmm. I'm not moving the house backwards at all. But if I put these on, technically they are encroaching on the path. Which is why that other one is pushed back further. So. All right. So I think. I stress think. I don't know. I think our gardens are done. Our gardens and trees are done. We remove the upper village. Um, we still have to kill the iron golems. But since that's a never ending issue, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, okay, let's take this and this. How much space do we have? Not enough. Let's empty out some of these. And some of these. Forgot to check this one. And these. Be my pick. And my bed. All right. I think here is, I'm going to call it done with a question mark. I don't know if I'm going to have lighting issues. That's one thing I have to check on. This is the only other garden I haven't done, and I'm still iffy on it because I don't know if I want to have a fountain like a pond or something here or a fountain or just a tree in a garden or a garden with no trees or I, I just don't know okay dump chest dump 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 that goes up there uh, we have our bed. We have our cat stuff. We're not going that far away, but we still need to have the equipment that we need. We're only after one cat. But I have no desire to die out there. Uh, torches. And because it's not going to be a far, far away adventure that we're doing today, um, I am not bringing quite everything I would normally. There is a lot of meowing going on in here. So I have my torches, I have my milk, I need my ender chest. I need a couple of shulker boxes, which will go into the ender chest. There we go. In my boat. Thank you. Uh, oh no, I need the fish to get the cat. I'm going to bring a lead. Just in case. Yeah, oh, it's only to get the cat. It's not a um, going away far one or anything like that. It's, it's a short adventure. We're just going to go to the swamp. And see if we can get a kitty. More importantly, we're going to see if we can find the swamp. Because I think it's this way. But there's just as good of a chance that it's a completely different way. So, yeah. I actually don't know where my swamp is. See, this is mixed forest back here. 
We can see all the birch and everything. And then it's taiga over there, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a bridge over here. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that just behind there, because I've cut pretty far into the taiga biome, all of this, like right up into here, was all taiga and then and mixed. So I've spent a great deal of time just taking like trees down, oodles and oodles of trees. And because these are all spruce trees, that is why most of my fencing in platforms are spruce, because I have a ridiculous amount of it. Okay, so the number one thing when we're leaving our area, we hit F3. We do not leave the base without hitting F3, ever. If we die, we want to be able to get back. And I think we already have our answer. That looks like swamp right there. Wow, I am close. Look how close this is. Um, What am I in right now? I hate trying to read this because I can never figure out what I'm doing. Taiga, taiga. And I just lost it because I moved taiga. Swamp. Literally, this, this block is swamp. My base is like just on the other side of this hill. So now the fun part is, well, you know, the most important part is we have to kill squid. Missed. Gotcha. 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 Uh, can I have your ink, please? <gasps> we weren't supposed to bring the cat, but apparently we're bringing the cat. That's a boo-boo, and I can't do anything about it now. Because the cat's here. Already. I hate that it pops up and then it sinks down. Because sometimes they get stuck being down. And I don't want them stuck down. I want I want to pick them up. Pretty sure we killed four of them. Hmm. So some of this area is lit, some of it is not. Even though I have brought a bed, I'm not going to sleep in my bed because I need nighttime. We're also hunting slimes. So see how it goes. I have explored most of this swamp, but it is big and it travels all over the place, so I don't necessarily know where anything actually is. There is a witch's hut, but I don't know where. Oh, you can tell I've been through here. <laughs> this is where my boat was. Let's pick up all of these. I have a tendency to smash into things. Eh, it's a little one. But it goes around the corner there, and it goes around the corner there. I don't know what to do with the kitty. Um, kitty is going to drown. All right. Ugh, that glitch. Come here, kitty. Come on. We are going to have you sit down. All right. No. Ugh, come here. No. Where are you going? Sit. Thank you. And we're going to write down your coordinates. You are at negative 2191 and negative 959. That is where Kitty is. I forgot to put Kitty, like, sit Kitty when we were back at the house. And I don't want to run all the way back because we don't have a lot of time. Eh, I am not facing the right way. There we go. I have to find a witch's hut. And soon. And smash into more stuff. So we'll try this way first. And then we'll work our way back the other way. If we don't find one today for the witch's hut, at least... Oh! There it is. I'm going to say at least we can... Oh, squid. Uh, 
Question is, will I shoot my boat in the process? The answer is no, I will not. Look at them all out here. Nope. Nope. Can you come a little higher up for me, please? Uh, okay, hit the boat. Lost an arrow. And then back up. Because of the lighting glitch, I had to do a few things. Oh, I am hitting you, but you're not dying because it's you're too far down. My boat doesn't have enough power to kill you. I killed that one. Could you come back here, please? Or you. Nope. Um, that one, I think, is killing himself. A little higher. A little lower. Gotcha. All right, let's go get our booty. There we go. And... I gotta say, that was a pretty good guess to choose this direction. I was I didn't know if I should go this way or the other way, but I do know I go the other way more often. So it was kind of high risk to go this way. But again, I don't go... Most... That's a cow. Okay. I don't go a lot of places. I thought there were two of you. And now there is one of you. Incoming! I could just hit you with my looting sword, except for I didn't bring my looting sword. Alright, let's go over here. I have to check on the moon. That's the other really not great thing is I need a full moon to guarantee that a cat will spawn. No full moon, no cats. Possibly. The other issue with the no moon I thought I saw a skeleton <laughs> is that um, I don't even know because this one has already been found if anything will even spawn here for that matter. It may not qualify for a black cat. So that I don't know. Um, over here. And... You. But at least I'm getting ink out of it, right? Really? Are you going to make me use three arrows? I'm going to drown for ink. That is not okay. That's a cow. And my AI is kind of big because I hate wearing my glasses when I'm streaming. Now, would you call that a full moon? If so, I'm trying to keep swimming at the same time as I move around. Um... The question is, where does the cat spawn if it is to spawn? All right, let's sink a little bit and bring up our dirt. Make ourselves a nice little stairway. Probably not the best way to do this because if there's a witch home, we could be in trouble. No witch. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. But she could be like anywhere. Like anywhere. We are aiming to find one also tomorrow when we go on our adventure. We will be looking for a black cat. Actually, we'll take all the cats that we find. We'll bring them all home. I'm not picky. <laughs> I'll bring them all. But the black cat is the one that we're most interested in. Alright. Bigger question is, are there more witch huts? And is that, if we can find it, is that a full moon? 
I don't know what a full moon looks like. Let's ask the wiki. Wiki, what is... Oh, no, we're going to scroll all the way to the top. We're at the bottom. Maybe I'm going to Google search it. Full moon. And what do you have to say? Okay. Uh-oh. We heard that. We have a drowned. We had a drowned. Mwah, ah, ah. But honestly, it sounded closer to here. Hmm. Anybody else? No. So we can go back to staring at the moon. And... Hmm. Okay. Ah, apparently crops and trees will not grow during the night. Moonlight is not enough light for them to grow, which is kind of good to know. That's one of the trees I have lit up because I hide inside the trees. Um, I am actually not going to be naming any of them. My Patreons will be naming them. Yeah, so if you're a Patreon at the four ninety nine level, which is kind of the same as a Twitch uh, sub, then you get to name any one of the animals that are not already named or are not supposed to be fodder. So you don't get to name like the bunnies in that big bunny thing, but you can name the bunnies in the bunny hutch because I'm going to kill all the bunnies <laughs> in the, the that are not in the bunny hutch. So I don't want to kill people's bunnies. Um, you also can't name the cat that travels with me all over the place because it dies kind of often. Like, kind of really often. Like, way, way too often. Okay. A full moon. Could they make these pictures any smaller? Oh, a bat took off. Okay, if this, which direction is this? That's south, that's the western sky. I am sorry, but your pictures do not match what I am seeing. But this should be the full moon. That is a full moon. So somewhere around here, much to my chagrin, there should be a black cat. If, if, big if, there is a black cat that is going to spawn. Once it has spawned, it will not despawn. Oh, really? Come back here, Skelly. You know what? I'm like, why am I not swimming properly? Because you're holding the wrong keys, my dear. You can't swim while you're holding your bow. There is a lot of badness over there. And we saw a creeper, but we didn't do anything about it. And because this is a dark oak forest, there's a lot of dark oak. I also don't know the radius of how far out this cat can spawn. <gasps> Did you guys hear that?
I'm trying to figure out where it is. Can't be that big one over there. Is that really what's making all that noise? Whoops. Um, please don't despawn. I'm coming. Oh. I'm saddened. I see you. I don't care. I need slime balls. And they're hard to find. Whoop. That is the it is supposed to be the end of the stream song. But now that it's lit up a little better and I'm not quite so nervous. I am going to check this forest before we go uh, by starting by killing him and I hear another one. Where are you? No. Oh, you're in the cave, aren't you? question is how badly do I want the slime and taking a look under here I'm thinking not at all yes there is iron uh oh all right we're out of here <laughs> I don't want him to knock me off by accident all right, so that slime was out of the question. Um, let's see if we can find us. There should be a lot of badness in here because of course it's not gonna despawn due to the fact that it doesn't have to. Oh, I should have shot you first, but I ran into the keyboard with my mouse. Really? Oh my gosh, I should just run up to him and hit him with my sword. That would have been much better. Um, I don't even know if you get one at... I think it's one at a time. Didn't I just kill... Save me the time of running around there. I think it is one at a time. But it's 100% guaranteed um, at a, like, where the witches are. The catch is that I don't know if it will work with ones that you found in a completely different time frame. So I have, I have left the swamp. <laughs> um, I found that obviously a long time ago. So I don't know if it will produce a black cat. It's never produced a witch for me. So it's never worked for a witch farm. Um, I don't know like what you need. I am really out of the wrong way. Uh, what you need to actually make a witch farm. No, the wiki doesn't know. Again, this is so new that a lot of the mechanics aren't there and the wiki changes pretty much every single day. So whatever is happening, they haven't had enough time to test it. And again, with all the glitches that are happening as well, with lighting and the new AI for lighting and the new rendering stuff they're doing and all the new villager AI and pillagers and the wandering traders and all of that, it is a nightmare. 
Well, I keep I plan to keep trying over and over and over and over and over again. But I was waiting for the full moon to come out because I knew it was out here somewhere. But tomorrow, we will be exploring. We're going to pick a direction and we're just going to go. Well, actually, you guys are going to pick a direction. So whoever's here first gets to choose the direction we're going in and we just go. Just to let you know, I am infamous for traveling in the negative, negative direction. So it might be better to go positive, positive, or like in those kind of numbers uh, to make sure that I am getting into new territory. We need to go pick up our cat. And where is our cat? It's at 21 squid. Sorry. <laughs> gotta do the squid first. Then we gotta get our cat. And then we go home. And we should run into a lot more um, stuff anyways. Oh, I got it. Good. Yeah, there should be a lot more witches huts and stuff like that. If we find one and we're close to it being, you know, the full moon, then we'll just hang out there until it's full moon. Because again, I need a lot of slime balls. And I wouldn't mind more clay. Like there's a lot of resources in the swamps that I would like to have. All right, kitty, where did I leave you? It was 2191. So we're kind of going the right way. And 950. I'm watching that. 959. So over there. I'm I can't tomorrow, but I will over the weekend look at how do I make a like a witch farm? I have a big enough swamp that I should be able to make huts myself. And then maybe by doing that, we could actually farm them. And actually get ourselves a black cat. So that might be a Monday project, unless I already have something for Monday. I will have to check. Friday, Saturday. Uh, kitty. Keep opening kitty. Oh, yeah, we were, and we were also going to start a new biome. So part of next week will be biome changes. Um, where am I going? 2191, so we're almost there. We should see Kitty soon. We should be, like, straight that way. There you are, Kitty. We can leave this place. All right, let's go. Let's head home. So tonight is Thursday night, and Thursday nights is Warframe. So I will be playing Warframe with Tactical Bacon Zero Zero on his free to play account. Um, I I actually get to choose what we do, which is kind of nice. Squid. Hole. Oh, lordy. Not a big hole. Okay. Um. There's a zombie in that direction. That's easier than using my bow and my arrows. Thank you, guys. Homeward bound. Although I don't have it written down, I hear a skeleton. I do live at negative 2,500 around there. That's close enough to where I live. And negative, I think it's 650. And having lived there long enough, I kind of just know that. There. No, don't go down to the bottom again. Oh, or you can. I'm just going to hit him with my bow. I should have hit him with my sword. Thank you. Thank you for your ink. 
There we go. So we will trundle off home. Once we get there, I will call it a stream. And this actual pond here, I was thinking of drilling a hole through here because you can see, oh, maybe you can't see now that I've gone down the hill. Where is it? There it is. There's the corner of my base. So I could have extended it out enough to incorporate that, but not really. You can see we're really close to the swamp. And we're home. Yay! I kind of like the idea we came up over here. Of shearing off the edge of that, putting in a couple more buildings, and putting some art in there. I kind of really like that idea. Because there's a lot of space that's being chewed up. So I'd probably push this out. Um, what you see right here, those stairs, that core actually goes way, way down. And it's just a spiral staircase that goes down. It is a nightmare to go up and down. And in the parts when I'm building it, it did have sections that were big enough that you could die from falling, as Tackback found out. And then we enclosed it so it's enclosed. It is properly lit, so that's good. But I think what I will do on the weekend, because we're going to have adventuring and the other times, is I'm going to go back to any of the villages we find, and I'm going to do schematics up so that we can build a village. So, and I'm going to research, you know, how to do the witches thing, because we need that cat. I had actually thought it would just show, which is why I stayed out and kept checking from like when we would actually have a full moon. And we had our full moon. So yeah, I have a few things I need to watch on Netflix. And when I'm watching things on Netflix, that's when I do my grinding <laughs> of taking mountains down and stuff. So I think I will do that. I will change that so it's a wall with art. Um, I will gather the materials together and put a chest down there. If I can figure out how to make the banner to put in there. I may need to put it on that wall instead. Is that going to be okay? I mean, you suggested it, so you can say yay or nay. Because although this one is tall, I think this one's going to be taller when it's done as a sheer wall. Because it's got all the way up to there. Mind you, this does drop a few more blocks down than this one does. So they might be the same height, but the width might be a problem on here. But I will build it. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I'm also not happy with how this looks either. So, well, I'm going to build it in the stream. We will put it together in the stream. The only thing I will be doing is collecting the wool off stream and putting it in a chest under there. And then I will probably have a diagram that you guys can't see that will be on my laptop so I can see it. And then I can follow the pattern and then we will build it up. And we'll build it here. I can make this taller as well if I need to just so that it'll fit. What I cannot change is that white wall because that is part of the mapping area. So it'll actually not be embedded in this. It'll sit one in front and then I'll just push the fence out by one. So it'll be done like that. I'm kind of excited for that. So we'll do that. We'll shear off there so that we have another work area to work with. Um. We'll keep our Hall of Fame, I guess, because there isn't anything else to go in there. And it doesn't look like our area is going to be any bigger than this. So it will be a four by three map that we need to find a house location for. And then we got to start mapping. So that needs to get done. 
And now we need an image for here. So, while I'm not running out of colors, I am running out of, hello, LDL, I am just finishing up, <laughs> unfortunately. We're just going over the plans for next week. Bye, squid. Um, I used a lot of my wool, so I'm going to be spending part of my time while watching Netflix just shearing sheep. Like, literally sitting over there, shearing the sheep, going around in a circle, then going around in a circle. I do have two stacks of everything already. So that is fine. And then I have other stacks that are inside of the storage room. I just don't know if they'll be enough. Like, I don't know if three stacks of gray is going to be enough stacks for it. But you never know. Yeah, just never know. Hmm. I agree, Kitty. We're going to put posts around this tree so it looks like it's supposed to be there like that. We're going to do that. So I, over the weekend, I will probably fiddle around with some of these gardens to see if I can find something I like better. I don't like these blue hidden in here, so I might choose a too tall one to put in there instead. I have to make a decision on this, if it's going to be a fountain or a garden. I need to back up, wrong button. I need to back up the server and then take this map off, put it in here with the glass to lock it, and then I can put it back up again. And then I take this table, we head out over to the other one, we do the same thing again. But it's gonna require a lot of backing up because I cannot overwrite that map. That would be a nightmare. And you know what I didn't check? Oh, all right, that answers that question. I was wondering how long the moon stayed as a full moon, and the answer is one night. That's it. Yeah. So I need to look at how often. Oh, according to this, full moons also produce the most slimes. which is cool. But that's only the ones out in a swamp, not in a slime chunk. The bottom of this here, the level that's the bottom one, um, where the food and stuff is, is actually a slime chunk. <laughs> so if I wanted to, I could actually make a slime farm in the one below it. All right, so let's sleep, because that's how we always end. Let's pop into our LOE screen. So we have a lot of stuff planned for next week because tomorrow we are going out and we are going to run around and yeah, we're going to get a lot of stuff. We're going to run around a lot tomorrow. It's going to be four hours, potentially five hours of travel. And that is what we will be doing. So it's, we're going to be looking for new areas. Um, I do need to do a little research before we do that because I need to double check if maybe it would be better for us to take a portal to an area and then go. Um, I do have where the end is. I do have a iceberg biome and what else do I have? I have traveled way, 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 way out to find both of the mansions. So we might want to look at those three sets of coordinates and say, okay, do we want to walk there or do we want to take the portal there and then walk from there outward? I know for the iceberg biome, um, I walked there, like I actually I boated there because I was looking for icebergs specifically because I needed blue ice. And from there, what I did was I uh, built a portal and then made a trail all the way back home. 
So I found the ice, but I didn't explore the area. For the end portal, it is in a desert. So I have been around in that desert. Um, none of the buildings there will change because obviously it's just not going to. I think there's only one villager there if he's still alive. I used to have two, but then the other one was stupid and died. So I have one villager for my for there. And he's right next to a portal, which is handy. And so, yeah, we need to find new everything. I do need to check my screenshots because I did go in a direction when it first came out, like first first came out. And I went off looking to see if I could find a jungle because I wanted to find the panda bears. But we need panda bears. We need leads for uh, foxes. We need the berries for them. Apparently there are two different types of foxes. So we need those. Like there's quite a few things we need to do. Quite a few. Yeah. Our goal tomorrow is to find three biomes with new houses that are sizable and all three new animals that I'd really like to do. You know what I could do? In the jungle area, I could actually build a temple. Maybe I should do that. That would be cool. Anyways, though, um, I stream again tonight, so I'm not going to drag this on any longer. I am back somewhere between 6.30 and 7. Oh, that was a good stretch and a yawn. <laughs> we are playing Warframe. Um, my goal for it is I would like to level up everything at least one level or more so that I can get it to show up on my list in-game that I have them. I am also looking at leveling up my Banshee so that I can do my MR test because I'm tired of getting the levels but not actually leveling. And I need an Argon Crystal so that I can build the new weapon that I have. So those are my big three things that I have planned for tonight. I do not know what Tackback has planned. I don't know what the game has planned. They've been doing so many updates. It's crazy. We have played all of the new content as far as I know. Um, I have Wisp. Wisp is now done. So I do have every single frame. I just need to level her a bit so that she shows up. So that's part of of tonight. Tonight's going to be a kind of a, a grindy one. And it, it shouldn't be too bad. All right. So here are my links. There's YouTube. So on the weekends, I turn all of these streams into YouTube videos. I break them down into one hour chunks so that it's not so rough on you to sit there and watch a four five or even six hour stream. Um, so yeah. It'll be labeled part one, part two, part three, part four. They all have the same titles, just the part will be different. That way you know you're getting them in the right order. Uh, and then they have episode numbers as well, so you can see that you're going in the right order too. So if you miss a day, you can catch up there. Twitter is where I send out a tweet every single day to let you know I am streaming. If anything really exciting happens in the stream, I sometimes tweet out about that. Um, I let you know about the stuff I'm doing, if there's anything happening. Uh, next Friday, not this Friday, because that's tomorrow, but next Friday I am probably not streaming. There is a good chance I'm not because I'm going to camp that night. And I don't know what time I'm leaving. So it means that it I, if I do stream, it'll be a shorter stream. But hopefully I will be completely packed Wednesday because Thursday I stream in the morning and in the evening, so I have to be completely packed by Wednesday. And I'll just have a few toiletries to throw into the bag on Friday and throw it all into the car, and then I'm done. Somewhere in there, I have to put gas in the car because I have, like, one little divot left in gas, which is not good because I keep driving really far places. But I don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, I also have to make a... Yeah, I'll put gas in and I have to do... Yes, hello and bye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ari. So yeah, I am I am ending my stream because I'm back again tonight. So I have to get my lunch. I have to get dinner prepped. And then we stream again this evening. Tack back and I will be streaming Warframe. Yay! So it's if I wasn't streaming Warframe, this would be a longer one. Tomorrow's going to be a 
more exciting stream because we're actually looking for new content. So I'm thinking I'm liking the idea of going to one of the two uh, far portals and then traveling out from there rather than tracking over land I've already been on. I think that'll be kind of fun. And then that way we know. Yes, and then we got to make sure we do everything well because I don't want to die. We will be taking pretty much all of our shulker boxes inside of the um, ender chest. And then each of those will have things in them that we need. And that way, if we die, we don't lose anything. So we'll always be going and taking out one, putting it in the other, and then putting that in the other one. So it'll be, it's a safe way to travel now that I have shulker boxes. It used to be a pain before because I could only bring my inventory and an ender chest. Now I have billions of spaces to go. So we'll do that. All right. So thank you everyone for coming out. And if I don't see you tonight, I'll see you tomorrow and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.